Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Fire Vision. Today, my dad and I are going fishing this morning. Um, I sound a little bit rough. I've had like a cold or whatever. Nothing bad, I'm fine. Um, it is about 6.30. I was trying to get up at 5.30 today. But last night I was trying to film this unboxing video. Um, and my freaking phone has like no storage on it. So I went through and deleted apps. I deleted just random crap just so I could film this. Um, so yeah. Today we have a mystery tag box. Not sponsored. I'd love to be. But bought this at Walmart. And I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and we're gonna try to use some of the baits today. Um, it's gonna be pretty hot today. And a lot of these baits are moving baits, but I'm not sure how hot the water is yet, so they should be good. Um, also, this glare right here, here. I'm sorry about that. I broke my screen protector, so hopefully it's not super annoying. Um, but I'm gonna try to use my back camera as much as I can. Uh, cause it's on the front camera. But anyway, let's get right into it. This is just the regular box. Um, yeah. Boom. Alright, so first we've obviously got the little card saying what's inside. Always got your sticker. That one's pretty cool. I don't have one like that, so. Um, yeah. It's pretty neat. Then we've got... The little dibbles pamphlet just giving you like some tips and stuff this one's talking about spinner baits panfish and trout walleye uh the ned rig all different kinds of stuff um so yeah let's get right into the baits also as I was saying, last night I tried to film this, so I've already, like, opened a lot of them, but I, like, try to, like, put the packaging back. I'm just gonna tell you guys. It's fine. Alright, so first things first, we've got the Guggen Squad Banger. Freaking bug. Guggen Squad Banger. Um, and it's in a little chartreuse with black bag. Just a little square bell got the black back. Also, one thing I like about these is it tells you the depth right here, two to five feet, which is nice because I'm not good at remembering that. But since it has a small bell, it's obviously gonna dive. Not dive as deep. So that's the first bait. I like it. Starting strong. Actually, I don't think I've ever used a Guggen Squad crankbait before. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. I don't know why I'm trying to put that back. Okay. Um, next up, we've got the Carl's Amazing Baits Spinner Rate right here. This is a little chartreuse and white color. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I have this spinner bait, but I really like it. I've caught a ton of fish on it. Um, oh gosh, this is tangled. Oh, okay. But here it is. You've got the double willow leaf blade right here. One gold, one silver. Chartreuse and white skirt. Chartreuse head. And then you got the mustad hook. But yeah, I like that spinnerbait a lot. Probably, I'm definitely going to use this today. Depending on how cold or how warm the water is. It's been pretty warm here, but I'm not sure how it's affected. We haven't been fishing in a while. Alright, so this is as far as I've gotten. My camera's going strong. Um, so next we have the 10,000 fish tickle tail. 
I also have a pack of these, but not in this color. This is Green Pumpkin Pearl. So it's got the green pumpkin on top and like the white pearly color on the bottom. Um, these things are really cool. You can Texas rig them. Uh, and that little tail is super small and it just goes like this. It's really, really cool. Super erratic. It puts off a lot of action. I'll pull one out for you guys to show you. I'm definitely going to ring them up. Is that, uh, I don't know exactly how long this is. Hold on. Uh, four and three quarters of an inch. So, and that tail is just going to flick and flatter all throughout the water. Yeah, it's a pretty cool bait. Um, next up, we've got Big Bite Baits, some crawls here, doesn't say what they're called, but it's just some little crawls. Um, I have the bigger size in these, these are a little bit smaller, probably like 3 inch, I would say. Little green pumpkin, black pepper action going on right there. Those are actually probably better for a jig trailer because they're small. But you could also rig them up um, on a small Texas rig. And the last thing is some 3 EWG sticky hooks. A little extra wide gap. I like extra wide gap hooks a lot more than just the standard worm hook because of like this straight piece right here. It allows your worm to sit there more straight. I just like it. Um, but yeah, that's that. That'll be good for that tickle tail or even the crawl if you can fit it on there. You might have to downsize your hook, but yeah. Uh, just uh, how many are in here? A little three pack of these. And that is everything in the box. Got your little measuring so you can measure the fish. But yeah, pretty neat. So just recap, hooks, crawls, tickle tails. Oh my goodness. You ever wonder why stuff gets so tangled? Literally, it was just sitting there. Uh, Giga Squad Banger, Square Bell, and Carl's Base Baits. It's been a rate. So that is everything in my box this time. Like I said, I was going to rig this stuff up last night. But by the time I got done messing with my phone, it was almost 1 o'clock. And I had to get up early. So I ended up going to bed right around 1. And, you know, it's fine. I'm awake, so it's good. Probably going to drink an energy drink. But um, stay tuned for my next video because that's going to be the actual fishing. Um, hopefully we catch, we're going to catch a bunch of fish today. I'm excited. And I'll see you guys there in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.